welcome to another video so this video is a continuation of the previous video where i was telling you about the important topics in dbt trf 2022 without much further ado let me dive right into this video So firstly, I need to tell you about the important topic in genetics, phylogenetics and evolution. Okay, so what you have to exactly do for this part. This one would go quite easy for those who have actually done this in CSR net. So you need to do the chromosomal inheritance topics. Now what include in this here? So everything about the Mendelian genetics, the epistasis and you should know the epistatic ratios. Then chromosomal aberrations need to know the different like uh, the trisomy 13, the Karau syndrome, etc. Then you have sex linked inheritance. So all of those diseases that come under the sex linked inheritance, crisscross inheritance, you should know. Pedigree analysis. So there are many papers that have pedig pedigrees given below. Then calculation of the Lord score forward and reverse genetics. You need to explain these two terms. This is also a common interview question asked in many places. Then you have questions on the hardy weinberg principle that falls under the population genetics. Okay, then next one is on maternal inheritance. So obviously, uh, you know, we are talking about the chloroplast and mitochondrial inheritance. So that you should be knowing. Then the next, you have to do the topic on tetra. In maternal inheritance, you have to do mitochondria and chloroplast. Then we have the tetrad analysis. Then tetrad analysis, basically how it is used for mapping. Then we have genetic analysis for mapping, where you have to study about the different molecular markers. Okay. Then next topic is transformation, conjugation and transduction. So these fall under microbial genetics. So under microbial genetics, you have transformation. So you should need, you know, need to know how to screen for transformants. Okay, what is the master plate you use and what are the other plates for selection that you use. Then you have to do conjugation where you have to understand the order of the sequence for HFR, etc. And finally, transduction. You may be asked to calculate the map distance or the frequency of printing, DNA barcoding and QTL mapping. That's all for this particular unit. Then next unit, we are talking about genomics and proteomics. Now in genomics and proteomics, you usually have all the technique related uh, questions. Okay, so what the techniques till now they have asked questions on. So firstly, we have ELISA, then you have ELI spot assay, then assays to determine protein protein interaction. So here you have your uh, East to hybrid cross. Then you have the protein DNA interaction where you have to do about the DNA footprinting and MSA. Okay. Then next is you have to do fish. That is fluorescence in situ, hybridization, dot blot, phage display, pull down assay, fax, chip, Chromatin in you know, precipitation, facts is flow cytometry, then primer extension technique, 2D gel electrophoresis, end labeling, NIC translation, in vitro phosphorylation, peptide sequencing. Here you basically need to understand about the admin degradation and how different enzymes like trypsin, chymotrypsin are used to determine the N-terminus, C-terminus and the peptide sequence. And finally, in this topic, you need to know about the mass spec, special emphasis on the maldi -tops. So that's about all of the questions asked in the general section. Moving on to the part B, where you have a lot of liberty to choose and the different specialized fields are given below. Now, I have not given a few of them like the animal tissue culturing, animal biotechnology, because those are very broad areas and I could not get actually what is important by looking at these few papers. But I can definitely give you an idea on fields like agricultural biotechnology. So what do you need to do over here? So first of all, you need to know about all the hormones, the precursor of these hormones and the pathways that are used to synthesize these hormones. Then phytochromes, floral induction, vegetative meristem is converted into a flowering meristem and its development. Okay, then about photoperiodism, 
you have to know about the short day plants long day plants etc for floral organ differentiation then about photosynthesis light harvesting complex electron transport then the c3 calvin benson cycle c4 cycle and the cam pathway then nitrogen fixation the nif genes and the nitrogenase enzyme biosynthesis of secondary metabolites they have importance in uh, industrial biotech also so therefore they are important then plant microbe interaction agrobacterium so everything about agrobacterium the different virgins the different vectors used and what is the synthesis what is the infection pattern of agrobacterium then a topic that i have frequently seen questions is reproduction in angiosperm so this is about the basic plant technology agriculture technology then you have the plant tissue culturing so under plant tissue culturing you obviously need to know about the media used about morphogenesis embryogenesis then micro propagation about somatic hybrids then cybrids protoplast fusion transformation of protoplast enzyme of crops and modifications then you have biofuels bt brinjal bt cotton so basically all about the bt toxin the basically all about the pollution and the important organisms that are used to curb pollution so these are some things in biotechnology basically not specifically pertaining to plant tissue culturing okay then the next one is immunology now luckily there are not a lot of topics you need to cover specific topics only from where they ask questions the topics include t cell maturation antibody production and that specifically the vdj recombination autoimmunity organ transplantation and hypersensitivity and the different types then next topic that they have asked is obviously on vaccine the different types of vaccines present about the friends anjovet etc then cancer again the immunological aspect mhc class 1 and 2 the difference between how they two are processed then hybridoma technology car t cell technology and crispr these three are some latest technology hybridoma obviously not uh, crispr and car t so you have to do this then about the toll like receptors the complement system and some important cell signaling pathways which important cell signaling pathways am i talking about here so especially the gpcrs the rtk receptor tyrosine kinases g protein coupled receptor gpcrs ras and map kinase pathway so these are some cell signaling pathways that you need to do then next coming up to i think the most uh, awaited topic and that is obviously the industrial biotechnology quite a few of you all may be entirely clueless about what to do in this unit don't worry at all i'm planning to come up with a series on all the topics necessary in industrial biotech if you are interested do let me know and tell me what topics if you have any idea about what industrial biotechnology has so under industrial biotechnology you have bioprocess engineering and technology now in this what specifically do you have to cover so you have so growth kinetics and substrate utilization in the three different modes that is the batch cultivation fed batch cultivation and continuous cultivation then about the different bioreactors and the modifications mass transfer very important aeration agitation top we do here kla and methods used to determine kla fluid rheology downstream processing in this here you actually need to focus on all the downstream processing like drying extraction centrifugation etc here you have to deal with some problems based on extraction that is uh, the solvent extraction two phase extraction etc then important calculation of problem based sums that you have to do is calculation of power consumption and its relationship with the impeller rpm heat exchangers the temperature difference you have to calculate between the heat exchangers then chemostat and turbidostat this is obviously important in the theoretical aspect also then you have the uh, calculations based on the dynamometer and impeller tip speed productivity calculations and calculations based on the reynolds number 
if you have a question as to what reference you should follow for this so there are two standard books that you can look at that is stanberry you won't find many numericals here for numericals i'll suggest a book to run these two books are important okay then moving on to the next one that is very simple and very easy bioinformatics now what to do in bioinfo so in bioinfo first of all you need to know about all the databases and the file formats which databases are primary which are secondary what are the different tools you have to do in this then sequence analysis and the basic concepts associated in sequence analysis basically you have to calculate the sequence similarity the identity definitions of the orthologs the paralogs homologs etc so all those definitions then pairwise alignment both for nucleic acid as well as for proteins in this nucleic acid you will come across uh, the needleman bunch and you will have smith waterman then in the other one for proteins you will have the pam matrix and the blossom okay so basically amino acid pairwise uh, amino acid alignment then you have to understand the difference between uh, the z score and e value what do these specify what signifies a good alignment then you have hierarchical organization of protein structure in which essentially you actually need to do two things that is cat and scop what are the difference between the two what do they actually you know um, classify then fssp finally some things related to drug discovery and drug development designing so the admt relationship how to calculate the structural activity relationship the pharmacophore modeling and prediction of a ADMT that I have already given. So ADMT is nothing but the absorption, the passage, metabolism, etc. Okay. And lastly, one topic we will have that is microbiology. So now let's look at what we should cover under microbiology. Don't worry, this is the last topic that we have to do. Okay. So let's see what special in microbiology. So in microbiology, there's a lot of remembering to be done. That is the vectors and the disease associated with the vector. similarly the microbe and the disease of, uh, associated with the vector about antibiotics and antivirals calculations that are based on the generation time very important generation time the doubling time specific activity cell yield coefficient cfu per ml calculations cell volume calculations with respect to the density and diameter and finally the product yield calculations so these things if you cover i'm very very sure you will get your dbt jrf and you will get a very very good rank you don't have much time so i expect that you will start studying quickly try to cover as much as possible and from my part i will try my best to cover bioinformatics and industrial biotechnology for you if you want me to cover any other topic anything that you have a doubt in please let me know and um, tomorrow i'll come up with another video where i'm telling you about what i'm going to actually do in bioinformatics and what are the reference books that you should go through for bioinformatics so that's it from me for today hopefully i'll see you in the next video until then bye